The opportunity to rent a new five bedroom home in an iwi housing initiative is life changing for the family of eight about to move in. Kelly Campbell said the initiative gave them a home they never thought they would have. Mr Campbell told the Associate Housing Minister Penny Henare and those at Waihariri to bless the home that he was thankful and this had changed their lives. With government funding, the Aitanga Amahaki relocate old houses, perch new builds off-site and transport them to Titarafati to get whānau into homes fast. This means a chance at home ownership when many around the country are struggling to find a room. Kelly said they both worked full time and found it tough just to find a place to live. The family of eight lived in a three bedroom home and now they have a five bedroom home they will rent to own. Kelly said the prospect of moving into the new house did not seem real. His daughter said it was a fantastic move for the family. Well I guess we were smelling each other's breath. At the event Mr Hennady said Iwi had land, they just needed funding to unlock its potential. They're long term players here, they don't develop homes to sell off to um, uh, people who aren't from their tribe. They look towards supporting their own tribe, which continues to hold their land amongst their people. And that's an exciting prospect for us, uh, which is why our strategy is a 30-year strategy. And we'll work with any iwi who are prepared to work with us and make sure that we can do these houses like this. From October 20, iwi can apply for funding towards Māori housing programs to address the immediate housing needs. The fund is made up of 350 million for infrastructure and 380 million for building new houses. Both funds were announced earlier this year. The program will allow a thousand new homes to be built and repairs to be made to 700 existing properties. Money will also be spent on infrastructure to enable future construction of at least 2,700 houses with a $30 million investment to support the Māori housing sector's capabilities. Talking to the crowd, Mr Henade said there was big challenges still ahead. And we know it's going to take more than just whai kāinga, whai oranga to turn things around for Māori in the housing space, but this is a bloody good start. Toitu Tairawhiti Housing Managing Director Willie Te Aho said the minister's announcement gave them confidence to move ahead with building more houses. The reality is that um, mā te huru huru de te manu kārere, uh, you can't do things without funding. And so having the minister announce their strategy and implementation uh, for the 730 million over the next four years uh, gives us, um, I guess, security uh, that we know that there's going to be funding there. Uh, the processes will be outlined as the Minister um, read in his uh, speech uh, that by the 20th they'll have those policies in place uh, and we look forward to working with them. Uh, with regard to your ultimate question is that it was really pleasing to hear the Minister saying uh, he wants to move at extreme speed because that's the speed that we do move at. Uh, but it helps when you have certainty on resourcing, it helps when you have certainty around materials uh, and trade. So we've got the, the capacity uh, to deliver more houses quickly, uh, we just need the funding and clear policy to enable that.